Hi, ik ben Marcella van Vaarse Creatief en samen met Shona gaan we jullie vandaag laten zien hoe de scoreboard in je werkt. Hallo! <laughs> We've had a lot of customers um, asking for a better demonstration of the inch scoring board, the um, Score Easy from Vass and Creative. Um, and Sela and I are going to do um, a demonstration today. We're going to do that step by step. So go and put a cup of uh, the kettle on, make a cup of tea, get your scoring board, come back and we'll be ready to start. Okay, on the measurement triangle, we're going to make a simple envelope um, and we follow the three instructions here on the measurement triangle. We've got a piece of paper, 12 by 12 inches, and Ancella is now going to show you how to lay that on the board. The measuring triangle you lay on the board with the cut off edge here in line with the measuring triangle. And here you can see the scale mark is five and an eighth of an inch. So you measure that here, five eighths, and then you make your first score line. You don't need to press too hard. You don't want to go right through the paper. Then you turn your paper 90 degrees. You lay it back on the, on the scoreboard, but we're not going to measure five and an eighth inch, you use the score line from your paper and you lay the paper under the triangle and you make your, your next score line. You're doing good, Ancella. Oh, You're doing you good. Much. Yeah. Okay, so we turn it again. And then we make our last score line and your envelope is nearly finished. Now, you can use the corner punch, it's not supplied with the score easy, um, but you can buy them separately. Um, you can, the notch punch has got a notch and a corner rounder, which is ideal for, for making envelopes. And Sela will let you see how that works. Now, all you need to do now is fold your envelope using the score tool along the score lines. That's a very nice envelope. <laughs> it's a very white And then using double-sided tape, can you, you can uh, put it on the, uh, the two flaps and then stick your envelope together. I did have a message from somebody saying it was mathematically impossible to make a rectangular envelope from a square piece of paper. So here's the proof that it works. You have no nails, you've cut your nails and uh, you can't get the backing paper. Oh, there we go. And there you have one envelope. And these instructions um, are very, very easy to follow. All you need to do is your card size, cut your paper to the size um, of the envelope that you would like and use the scale mark. And remember, you only use the scale mark, the measurements here, once. Your second score line you use on the board and you line the paper up with your first score line to make your second score line. Okay, now we're going to show you how to make the envelope box. Um, it's exactly the same as making a single envelope. Um, 
but you have two score lines instead of one score line. So again, we're going to take the um, score line, the, the paper size of 12 by 12. We're going to lay the measuring triangle on the scoreboard, as shown here, with your cutoff lined up. And then we place the paper on the score line, shown here, at four and a half inches. So Ancella will score that there. Well done. Okay, and the second score line is six inches. So you move the paper down to six and you make your second score line. Then again, we're going to turn the paper 90 degrees we lay it back onto the score, uh, the scoreboard. Line up your first score line with the triangle on the measuring uh, triangle, and make your third score line. Then we shift the paper up to six inches, and you make your fourth score line. Okay, so now we are going to turn the paper again, 90 degrees, and we'll lay that again on the score line. And you make your fifth score line. And your seven, six, one, two, three, six, <laughs> your sixth score line. I'm going to turn it again. Seven. Eight. Okay, so you have eight score lines, and as you can see, you have the side of the box here. So again, we're going to cut out the little corners, or you can use the notch punch. Um, but for quickness today, we'll just use the. Um, oh, you want to use the notch? Use the notch punch. It's actually quicker, isn't it, using the notch punch? So you repeat those steps on the four, the four corners, and then again with your score tool. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot a step. You need to cut the little flaps. Then with the score tool, we're going to fold the box together and then when we've done that again we're going to use the tape and we're going to tape the and again yes it's possible to make a rectangle envelope box from a square piece of paper and also with the score easy with the with the inches all the instructions here are on the back of the back of the box. If you put fifty euros in and some chocolates, you could give it to me for my birthday. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there we have an envelope gift box. Okay, now we're going to show you the instructions for the gift box. Now, the gift, gift box consists of a base and a lid. And here we have the box sizes, the paper size, and the score line. And under the score line, you'll see the measurements for the base and also for the lid. We don't use the measuring tool with making the gift box. We only use the board. Okay, so now we have our paper at 12 by 12 centimetres inches, sorry, um, and the first score line is one, one inch, so Ancella will score that at one inch, and the second score line is two, so we turn the paper 90 degrees, and then we do exactly the same, one inch, and then two inch, and we repeat those steps again, one inch, and two inch, And the last two score lines, 
one inch and two inch. And then you can see the score lines that you have on your paper is the same as the score lines that you have here in the illustration on the measuring triangle. So Ansela will now fold that. I think you've made a hundred of these boxes, haven't you? There we go, perfect. Now, scissors. Now, you're going to cut out the corners and you can see on the um, diagram here on the triangle exactly which corners you're going to cut, cut out to make your box. So that's the third one. And, and the fourth. And then you have to cut a line in between the two scored lines, the two scored squares. And then you're ready to assemble your, assemble your box. <coughs> I hope you don't mean, expect me to clean that up. Do you do that at home? Just throw things on the floor. Okay, so that's it now folded and we're ready now to assemble the box. And using double-sided tape, you can uh, stick it all together and then we'll be ready to, to, make, the, uh, to make the lid. That, that is the base um, of our box. Now we're going to go ahead and make the lid. And again, you only use the, the scoreboard. And this time we're going to do the score lines at 7 eighths. There's your first score line. And your second score line is 1 and 7 eighths. And again, 90 degrees. Oh, it's going really quick now, isn't it? <laughs> Once you've made one box, you know exactly you know exactly what to do. And you'll be making boxes all day. So as Ancella <laughs> as Ancella has done here last week, she was the whole week making boxes. So the score lines are all are all scored. And again, Ancella's cutting out the, the squares to make the folds in the box. Oh, you're really quick now. You've done it again, put everything on the floor. I do that at home too. <laughs> And again, use your scoring tool to flatten down the score lines so that you've got a nice crisp fold in the paper. This is a finished, a finished box that Ancella's all stuck together. And, and the lid. Nice box for putting chocolates in or a nice gift. Or for storage from photos. That's a good idea, isn't it? Or for Mother's Day, chocolates, nice ribbon, the base and the lid.
Very nice, thank you. Sancella. Thank you. And that was the instructions for the envelope, the envelope box and the gift box. Um, the Score Easy tool also comes in centimetres um, on the back of the, um, under the base here you have a, a little um, a storage box for the scoring tool and also for the, the triangle which fits, which fits. It does fit, you need to put it right to the end, which fits in like that. <laughs> so have lots of fun making your envelopes and don't forget to let us see your finished uh, crafting uh, things that you've made on our Facebook channels and on social media. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.